quick haul video. Um, I'm going to run through these products really quickly because I have quite a few products to show you and I will post all the detailed details sort of and more in depth review on my blog. So if you want to know more information about any of these products then please click on the side on more info. I'll have a link to my blog there. Um, I'll be writing about these products um, sort of one after the other so I won't have to spend a lot of time talking about them. I'm just going to show you them. Um, recently I received a haul from Cherry Culture. Actually this just came in today. Um, I made a haul for some NYX items. At first I got three of these jumbo eye pencils. Um, these are similar to the shade sticks although they are a lot creamier. Um, this is the one in milk which is just a basic white. Um, this is the purple one. It looks kind of blue on this camera, but it's very purple. And then I got this one. Uh, this is called horseradish, horseradish, and it's a green one. So these are great for um, eyeshadow bases. They are very creamy though, like I said, so you have to use a proper base underneath. Like I would use Urban Decay Primer Potion or something that's really going to make these last and then apply them very thinly and just sort of spread them out. So I got three of those and um, I used the purple one today to do this purple smoky eye and I love it. So um, I'm definitely going to be using these upcoming in my tutorials and stuff. So those are the jumbo eye pencils. These are the tinted lip spas and oh my god. I love these. These are awesome. I can't believe how inexpensive these are. These are basically like, I'm wearing this one um, on my lips. These are basically tinted lip balms. They're not very glossy. They're sort of more like just a very, very light color glaze and they're so creamy and like they don't have a disgusting scent like some of the other NYX products that I've found. <laughs> so these are great. This one is um, Sake which is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. It just gives like really, really a natural look and they're actually, I can just let it on. They're actually pretty pigmented. I mean, for this kind of product, I love these. Um, this is the other one I got. Um, this is called Juicy. It looks like a bright red on here, kind of like an orangey red. If I can just swatch it quickly on my hand, you see it doesn't give off like a really bright color. And these are so conditioning and they have a slight menthol to them, so they tingle, but they're not like like burning. They're very nice, um, nice sensation on the lip. Then um, I got a few of the round lipsticks because they are just so cheap. Um, this is the first one that I got. This one is called Femme, and this is sort of like a really nice coral shade. That one's Femme. Then this one is called Strawberry Milk and this is a light sort of baby pink. So it's that one. This one is um, Strawberry Milk. Then I got this one. Oh my god, this is an awesome color. This is Chaos, which is like a really, really blue red. I love blue reds. This is Chaos. It's almost like in a magenta actually, like a magenta red. So that's Chaos. Then I got this one. This one is Talia and this one looks a lot like Viva Glam 5. It's this one. This is Talia. Very sort of natural color. Love that one too. Then I got this one. This one is called um, Herades, Herades. I think that's a Greek goddess or something. And it's this color, not too keen on that color. I looked at swatches of all these and it, this wasn't really what I was expecting, but maybe it's gonna look different on my lips. It's sort of like a brown tone pink, not too keen of that one, but whatever. Then I got this one, this is Pandora. This is like a, it's this one, this is like sort of a lilac or like a violet pink. That one's really cool too, I like that one as well. Then I got this one. This one is called Perfect. And this one is definitely not my thing. Eh, just this one. It's very brown toned. So I'm, I don't personally like that one. But again, I'll have to check these, what it's going to look like on my lips. And this one is Georgia, which is also really nice. However, this one is very frosty. This is Georgia. 
This one is very frosty and I'm not a huge fan of frost lipsticks but the color is really nice so I think I can make that work by just putting some gloss or something on top. So those are the round lipsticks and then I got um, one lip gloss in gold because I just needed a gold lips, lip gloss for an upcoming look so I got this one and I'll just swatch that. It's right here. This is a really sort of garish gold. I'm not sure how that's actually going to work for me, but <laughs> I'll make it work. And this one does have a cherry scent to them. Now the, the NYX lip glosses do have sort of a funny aftertaste, but whatever. I can live with it for now. And then they also included this um, rolling... This was for free. It's just like a gift from cherryculture.com. It's like a I don't know, it's like a lip balm. It doesn't really have a color, it's just glossy. And the smells intensely like cherry. So, whatever. That one was for free. Um, they did miss one item that I ordered, but it said that out of stock refunded. Um, I don't think I'll be ordering from cherryculture.com again because there's other retailers that sell NYX and I think the shipping took a really long time. It took almost like a month and a half for my for my shipment to come and I order so many stuff so many things from the states and it shouldn't take that long um, so I don't think I'll be ordering from cherry culture again because I just don't want to wait that long for items but the prices are very good I mean I also think that if something's out of stock they should just contact me and tell me if I want to replace it because the shipping cost is flat rate so if you know I paid the shipping flat rate I might I could have just replaced that with another color so not too impressed with the customer service from cherryculture.com. I'm not going to be ordering there again. Um, but whatever. So that's the haul from NYX. And then um, I also just want to show you this other thing that I got recently from Ben Nye. That's upside down. Um, I got this concealer wheel from Ben Nye. This is called the um, Total... It's called the Total Cover All Wheel 2. And this is in the shade SK200. Um, this is a concealer wheel that is basically for color correcting because if you have blemishes or if you want to properly conceal, it's better to have more than one color. This is sort of like a, a green shade or like a slightly green shade. This is a very light one. This is a slightly peach one. This is a sort of yellowish one and these are sort of two darker shades. Um, this is the lightest concealer wheel that they that they make. They make a few other concealer wheels for all different skin colors. So if you have really dark skin, you can get a darker one. And I really like this. I've been using this all the time for color correcting. And this stuff is really good. It is very um, heavy duty, as in the sense that this really, really covers very well. If you are looking for lighter coverage, I might not necessarily go for this. Um, but what I found is that you can thin this down. What I do is if I want a lighter coverage, um, because this is cream concealer, so I use a concealer brush to apply it. And I can't find my concealer brush right now. But I use a brush and like I apply it underneath my eyes and like anywhere that needs a bit of coverage before I apply my foundation. Um, but if you, if you think it's too heavy, what you can do is you can use a bit of like I use a bit of eye cream. I get, I just dab my brush in like a little bit of eye cream and then I um, mix it into the concealer and that makes it a bit more emollient. It makes it more creamy, makes it lighter. So um, you can definitely thin this down. You don't have to use it full strength if you don't need that much coverage. So something about Ben Nye, because I get always asked, what I would do is if you want to if you want to buy Ben Nye products, go to the Ben Nye website and download their catalog. It's for free. It's just a it's like a, it's an Adobe Acrobat Reader um, file. You can download it and you can go through their entire co catalog and see what all the products are. And that's how I found this one. And they have a lot of different shades because that's going to be easier than going onto a web store because you won't really know what the products are and stuff. So I would definitely recommend to download the catalog and then um, find the exact product that you're looking for online. Then I also wanted to show you these two mascaras that I got. I was recently at a drugstore here in um, in Switzerland and I picked up these two. These are a German brand so I don't think you'll be able to find this like in North America and I don't think that these are sold online any, any 
anywhere. This is Essence, which is a very, very inexpensive um, drugstore brand. I think it's German, but it's sold in some other countries in Europe. I picked up this one. This is the Essence Volume Boost Base Mascara, it's called. And I was so surprised when I looked this, when I opened this, because this is a fiber mascara. And this was so inexpensive. This was like four Swiss francs or something. I'm not sure if you're able to really see the fibers, but um, you might just have to trust me on that one. <laughs> this is a fiber mascara. And fiber mascaras are kind of a rarity to find in Europe or in North America as well. I mean, you can buy some fiber mascaras now at like Sephora or sort of more department store brands, but those are expensive and this one was really dirt cheap. So I am trying this out for like a week or so and then I'll post the review on my blog. And then I picked up this one. This is uh, also by Essence and it's called Lash Mania. And the packaging, you might be able to tell, is basically copying, or it's a, co it's a copy of um, Dior Show. And as you can see, the brush is basically the same as the Dior Show. It's very, very fat. So if you like very thin mascara brushes, then this might not be right for you. I just wanted to try this out. And I, I have tried this for a couple days, but I want to give it like a few more days trying it out until I post a review. But um, again, these two mascaras were really inexpensive. Yeah, so basically I wanted to just quickly show you those products and I will be posting um, sort of more detailed look at these products, what I think of them more in detail on my blog. I'll have the link to that on the side. You can click on more info. I won't have all the reviews up by probably by the time this video goes up, but um, you can subscribe to my blog and um, then you'll get updates, you know, when I update my blog. So you won't miss out on the reviews and all, and all that. And I'll also list on the side where I purchased these. If you, you know, if you want to get them from the same seller, where I got them, you can. You don't have to, but I'm just going to post that because I get lots of questions about that. So those are all the products I got. I hope you enjoyed that little haul video, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.